Hey guys, this is Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot, bringing the air signs, their weekly love read. This is going to be what's coming towards you in love. This is for August 7th through the 13th, uh, 2023. There will be timestamps in the description box below if you want to go straight to your sign. This is for Gemini, Libra, and Aquariuses. Um, we're going to be using the Love and Romance Journey deck from Queen Sugar Tarot. The Soul Reflections Love Oracle Deck and Heart Songs, Songs and the Keys of Love from Celestial Forecast by Carrie. These are going to be quick and dirty. And hopefully, very in the very near future, you will have your August love reads out for the month, the monthlies. Um, this is a general read, so take whatever resonates with you and leave the rest if you feel like it's way off the mark. Go ahead and check your moon and your rising signs if you're not sure what your moon and your rising signs are. There's a link in the description box below that you can um, put your information in and get that information of what your moon and your rising signs are. Um, or you could just Google it and find a different website. There's also a link in the descri description box below to get you to my personal webpage if you are interested in a personal read. I think that's it. Thanks, guys, for watching. I appreciate your support so much. Let's get into it. Gemini's, Gemini's, Gemini's. What's coming towards Gemini's in love? Oh, the Justice card. Knight of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Page of Wands. Page of Cups. All right. So, Geminis, I feel like um, something that was a missed opportunity is coming back around. Something that you cannot stop thinking of or the person can't stop thinking of you is a missed opportunity. So, if it's not, if you're like, mm, Brenda, there's nobody I feel like I missed an opportunity with, this person sees you as a missed opportunity. This person feels like they sabotage the situation um, or this could be your energy. But I feel like, I honestly feel like this is more your person. Um, I feel like your person has been stuck up in their head. They felt super defeated. They are not sure which way to go or maybe they failed to make a choice previously. Um, feel super defeated. Feel like they screwed everything up and missed out on this opportunity with you. I feel like this person is going to be coming in with heavy, heavy apologies. The Page of Cups um, is a card of apology. It's also a card of love offers. So I feel like, honestly, with um, the pages being here and then the Knight of Pentacles being a very slow energy, I feel like this person is going to come in, propose some time being spent together, but I feel like it's going to be a small little effort. It's not going to be something huge, something elaborate, but I think they're going to take the opportunity to express sincerest apologies almost to the point where you're gonna be like shut it I already heard you like thank you for apologizing I accept your apology and they're gonna be yes but I still feel but 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 like I feel like they're gonna be heavy uh heavily apologetic um I feel like you are gonna be a bit guarded in this situation um you know maybe you had kind of entrusted this to work out previously but I I feel like you're going to be quite guarded with your heart in this situation. I think it's going to be okay though because we have the page of wands and we have the knight of pentacles. So this person wants to enjoy time with you. This person is um uh, appreciate your energy. This person feels like they want to have fun with you. You want to have fun with them. They want to keep it kind of light. Um the knight of pentacles is the slowest knight in the deck. So this is but this is committed, this is grounded, this is loyal, but this is like slow and steady wins the race. This is like that turtle chase, uh, racing the, the hare, the tortoise and the hare. So um, I feel like this person is going to come in with apologies. They're going to come in with smaller offers. They're not going to be like, I want to reunite and I want to be with you and I want to marry you and that's it. I feel like they're going to let this like be a slow and gradual burn, a slow and gradual situation. I feel like they're coming in quite balanced. I feel like maybe before they weren't, maybe their life was out of order. Maybe you were with somebody. I'm not sure. Maybe you're going through a divorce or an ending of some sort. But I feel like this person's going to come in balanced. This person's going to come in with lightheartedness. This person's going to come in with apologies. This person's going to recognize that you're guarded. I think this person is going to share with you on how they feel like they sabotage the relationship or the potential of the relationship. I don't know if you actually had one with them or not. Um, they feel like they missed out on this opportunity with you. And then they're coming back to kind of uh, see if there's still a chance, but they're not going to necessarily uh, say, hey, I want to date you or I know I screwed this opportunity up in the past. I feel like that that opportunity is kind of what they're they've been obsessing about and thinking about. Sorry, my nose is really itchy. Um, but I do think this person's going to be coming back pretty stable, pretty, pretty committed, loyal, 
they want to have fun. They want to apologize. They want to show you love. But they're not going to be like laying it all out for you right away. I do think they're going to say, you know, things didn't go the way I thought they should have or I wanted them to or things didn't end up the way I was hoping or something to that effect. But they're not going to be like, I can't stop thinking about you constantly. Freaking reconciliation, guys. Yeah. Destiny. Sacred connection. Yeah. Mm, I'll just say bow chicka wow wow. Delicacy. Um, I'm not going to interpret this card. I'll let you interpret this card. Um, definitely heavy passion there. This is a sacred connection between you and this person. This has been a destined situation. So if it didn't work out previously, this is destined to come back around. And there's a reconciliation here. Nice. My poor puppy. There was fireworks and she's stressed now. Come to me. Cards, these cards in this deck have been coming out extremely similar throughout these reads so far. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, I'm like trying not to lose the whole deck. Um, rewrite your love story. Opportunities to reconcile love. Reconciliation. Fix it. Sit down and communicate. I'm sorry, right? And come to me. Nice. Bottom of the deck is hands of time wanting to grow old with you. I do feel like this relationship has the potential to be a long-term committed um, growing old with each other situation. All right. We're going to get a hands. No, we're not going to get a hands of anything. This is hands of time. This is two cards. They flip. I'm going to put them back in the deck. Um, we're going to get a heart songs. Keep songs in the keys of love. From Celestial Forecast by Carrie. It actually has a song lyric on it. The card that flipped out might mean something to you. The one I saw was Dan and Shay Obsessed. So I'm going to just tell you what it was. But I'm not going to read the lyric. So if that's um, a signifier for you. Then there you go. Um, but these songs. Or these cards actually have a song. And a chosen lyric on it. Um, a piece of the lyric. So I'm going to go ahead and read what that is. It's a great song. It's you Are So Beautiful by Joe Cocker. Um, and the lyric is a small lyric that they selected, but it's, can't you see you're everything I'm hoped I've hoped for. You're everything I need. You are so beautiful to me, to me, to me. <laughs> um, if you know the song, you know what I was just trying to do there, but this person feels like you're so beautiful. Um, you're everything they hope for. You're everything they need. They want to rewrite the love story. They want to fix it. They want, to, they want you to come to them. They want to grow old with you. They want this reconciliation. Holy smokes. Um, they feel like this is destined. I just saw a proposal on the bottom of the deck. It's a sacred connection. They have intense passion for you. Like this person is, is going to come in hot. Um, I shouldn't say that. They're not coming in hot. They're coming in slow and steady and stable and grounded and committed. But they have intense, intense feelings for you because they can't stop thinking about you. I just got that song, um, I Just Can't Get You Off My Mind. Um, it's Lenny Kravitz. Oh, I can't, I don't know if that's the name of the song or not. Like, life is like a lonely highway. I'm out here on the open road. I'm old enough to see. I'm young enough to see beside me, but I'm... I don't know what it says. I just can't get you off my mind. That's what popped into my head. All right. Libras, Libras, Libras. What is coming towards Libras in love? Libras, Libras, Libras. What is coming towards Libras in love? Eight of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. All right. I see you, Libras. The freaking Three of Cups. All right. Nine of Cups. Wow. Temperance. All right, Libras, I feel like um, you are preparing yourself. You are getting yourself in a position where you are waiting for your ships to come in. You are aligning yourself with what you want in your life, and you are focusing on yourself. You are pushing yourself to get into this Queen of Pentacles status, getting your finances in order, um, 
getting your life in order, you're grounded, you're committed, you're stable, you're nurturing, you're caring, you're a provider, you're a protector, you are working on yourself. You are a, a, um, ascending, you are elevating, and you are getting yourself ready to have these ships to come in, have all these dreams to be um, coming to prosperity. Is that the right word? I don't know. Uh, I don't, I don't know if that's the right word, but um, all these dreams are going to be coming true because of the hard work you're putting in. You guys, I feel like um, your wish fulfillment is coming. Your ships are coming in. They are moving into the coast. Um, we do have two nines here, and this is part of the reason why I said you are working on yourself because this is um, emotional stability. This is emotional fulfillment. This is financial stability. And these are two often cards of... Um, singularity like working on yourself so I feel like you definitely are working on yourself however this is also a wish fulfillment so I feel like you're doing you're putting in all this work I feel like to to receive um in due time in divine timing when God wants this to happen um you will receive this wish fulfillment you will receive this soulmate that's coming into your life this person views this love situation with you as um a soulmate energy as well. This person understands that it takes hard work to grow a relationship. This person wants to put the hard work in. They're not going to shy away from a challenge. Um, they're not going to shy away from knowing that relationships require uh, lots of work. Uh, and they're not going to shy away from that. They're going to be like, I'm here to show up, boss. I'm here to put in this work. Um, they want things to be stable. They want things to be grounded. They want things to be committed. They want to give you this wish fulfillment. They feel love for you. This They want to um, fill your cups of emotional needs. <laughs> that sounded weird, but they, they want to, they want to make sure you're emotionally stable, financially stable. They want to grow with that, build with that. Like I said, divine timing. And then we have the three of cups. So to me, this is, um, this is an extension of the two of cups, which is true love, soulmate, wedding energy, um, marriage. I feel like this is like, um, a wedding reception and engagement party. This is, um, not only is this a true love situation, but it's also a solid, solid friendship. Um, so you're marrying your best friend kind of energy. Like not only do you absolutely love this person and they absolutely love you, but you guys are like peanut butter and jelly. Like that's how you go together, right? You have this solid friendship, like you're meant to be. I just got the song. You were meant for me and I was meant for you from Jewel. I feel like this is a really spiritually guided soulmate energy relationship here coming towards you, Libras. We have child. So this person could have a child um, or you could have a child with them. I wasn't getting a return of somebody, but um, it could be the it could be the case because um, we have divine timing twice here. So this is temperance, this is patience, this is God's plan. But we also have regret. So I'm almost feeling like this person regrets their timing previously. Like um, like they're like, man, I let that situation slip. We have communication on the bottom of the deck there. So I feel like this person will be communicating with you. Maybe has been communicating with you. We have cleanse, release what no longer serves you. So if you're holding on to something that's like really not the best for you, you need to cleanse that, release that. Oh my gosh. Time with friends. Friends introduce a new love. And children. So we got children twice. Um, so I feel like children are a factor in this situation. Children or a child. And then we have leave space on the bottom of the then we have leave space on the bottom of the deck, which is so I can grow and nourish my soul. And my nose is itching terribly. Um we are gonna get a heart songs card for you, Libras. Whoa, 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 whoa. Two cards flipped out, but one only one is face up, so we're gonna take that one. Oh my gosh, I love this song. I've been hearing this a lot too. So um, maybe you have too. If you have, I feel like that's probably a sign. Um, it's Against All Odds from Phil Collins. And it's, so take a look at me now. There's just an empty space. There's nothing left here to remind me, just the memory of your face. 
which I think is that regret card and potential reunion. I don't know, Libras. You tell me. Oh, good gravy tomatoes. My nose is itchy. You tell me, Libras. Um, thank you guys for watching. We're going to move on to Aquarius in a brief moment. Once I get these cards shuffled up back together. And Libras, if you feel inclined to do so, please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you want. You can also hit the notification bell, which will notify you when my videos come out. Because I never put them out on time. I used to be really on top of it, but um, uh, this last year was crazy, but I, I don't really have an excuse for like the last month. It's just what it is. I'm not going to beat myself up about it because life happens, right? All right. Aquarius is Aquarius is Aquarius is what's coming towards Aquarius is in love. Let's see what's popping out for you guys. Wow. The devil. Let's get some, let's get the magic stick next to that. Cause otherwise, <laughs> Ooh, nice. The 10 of pentacles, temperance. Queen of Swords. Oh, these cards are flipping. All right, all right. I'll take this. I'll take this. Um, Aquarius is, uh, we have Nine of Pentacles. I'm sorry, Nine of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, and Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck, and Six of Swords, and Four of Swords. Lots and lots of air energy. I feel like you guys have gone through something difficult recently with this Three of Swords energy. This is heartbreak. This is loss. This is sadness. Um, the Three of Swords leads into the Four of Swords, which is rest and recuperation and healing your heart. And between these two cards is the Six of Swords, which is moving on to calmer waters. So I feel like you have made a choice or something has happened to you, which has created a sadness and loss situation for you. It's been heartbreaking. It's been hard. Um, but you had to move away to get to calmer waters and you are healing. So I feel like that is something in your recent past that has been occurring. Then we have the seven of pentacles and the, the nine of wands. So I feel like this situation, um, there's been some seeds planted in this situation. So I feel like potentially you've ended something really harsh and what's coming towards you is a situation that there's already been some seeds planted here with the seven of pentacles. I feel like um, if you kind of look at these like seedlings, like you plant the seeds, right? And things grow to fruition. So I feel like what's coming towards you is not a new thing. It's something that there's already been some seeds planted, but I also see you in this energy of being this wounded warrior, um, which is not a bad card. The nine of wands is actually a card of perseverance, a card of um, yep, life's knocked me down a few times, but I'm still standing. Like, I'm still getting up. I'm still going after what I want. I still know what I deserve. I mean, you kind of look at... Pardon me. Oh, excuse me. You kind of look at her um, her energy, her face. She's been whooped quite a bit, right? Like, she's been um, taking kind of some lumps, but she is still there. She's still on, on her watch. She's still allowing love to come towards her. Um, so for your cards, guys, I do see some completion of cycles. Again, I feel like this is that heartbreak, that sadness. I feel like you are ending a situation with a very toxic person. Um, this could be someone that was in your life. This could be, uh, when I say, oh, I shouldn't say toxic person. This could be your obsessive thoughts about a specific person. Um, like the devil energy to me is like codependency, unhealthy coping skills, um, being stuck in uh, thought processes that don't serve you, um, feeling kind of imprisoned by your thoughts often is what the devil is to me. But I feel like that situation is coming to an end with the world card being here. So I feel like that toxic situation that either you were putting yourself in or someone was putting you in or both is ending um, with the world card. So this is a completion of that cycle the world card I like because it completes out a cycle and then it propels you into a positive situation, a positive outcome, or what's coming in the future is going to be positive because you're closing out this difficult cycle. Um, I see you. I think this is you and your energy. You could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but um, doesn't have to be. I feel like I feel like this ending of the cycle is really giving you clarity, really giving you confidence, really giving you. Um, 
the ability to communicate the queen of the queen of swords sorry the queen of swords is a great communicator very intellectual um, very intelligent, very good communicator. I think I said it like six times now. Um, they cut out what no longer serves them to um, keep healthy things around them. So I feel like this has been your energy of like just getting rid of the toxic, getting rid of the unstable, get rid of the obsessive thinking, getting rid of the hurt, healing yourself, growing yourself. What do I see coming towards you guys? I see amazing Ten of Pentacles here. I love this card for you. This is... Um, the Ten of Frickin' Pentacles. This is a commitment. This is loyalty. This is long-term. This is marriage. Uh, this is very um, likely a blended family. So if you have children or they have children, um, you guys, your families will blend well together. Or if only one of you have children, whatever. The, the combination of you guys coming together is solid. It is um, long-term. This is commitment to its nth degree. This is like... Um, Having the dog and the ch children and the house and the home. This is being financially stable, being emotionally stable. It's coming, guys. It's coming, but it's in divine time. So I feel like all this stuff is aligning for you. I feel like the cycles, like again, coming to an end or putting things into alignment. Um, I think you are that wounded warrior energy, but I think what is coming to you is it's something that's had some seeds planted at some point. Because I feel like there's been a definite ending um, but something's uh, coming to fruition with some seeds that have been planted. All right, let's get some love and romance journey cards from Queen Sugar Tarot. That went flying out. Oh, yeah, we have Wounded and New Pathway. I'm going to show you these cards and Unspoken Truth. On the bottom of the deck, we have Caution, too. Um, and I feel like this is your energy. You're very cautious, but underneath that, you guys, we have engagement. So, um, I feel like some truths were being revealed to you that could have potentially kind of ended that situation, um, or caused that, um, grief and loss or that wounding, right? Like you might've found out some things that you weren't aware of or, um, unspoken truths you heard. Um, wounded and the new pathway again this signifies to me like that three of swords to that four of swords like yes you've been hurt you've been um, your heart's been broken but you are on a new healing pathway release and let go past returns and freaking wedding bells you guys I'm telling you, it's definitely some seeds have been planted. So release and let go, which is what you're doing. The past returns, perhaps an ex-lover or a past life. And then we have wedding bells. That's at 10 of pentacles. And on the bottom of the deck, we have passion. So it won't be, um, it won't be passionless. It'll be passionate. All right, we need a card for Aquarius. What card does Aquarius need to see for their heart song card? Um, and as I usually state, if you watch me, that these songs have lyrics on them. They have a chunk of the actual song lyric. Um, oh. <laughs> so take this, um, how it resonates with you. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. Um, I need to start doing these videos earlier. I don't think it would matter. I think I'm going to start yawning no matter what. Um, and I, I'm going to totally screw this up, um, on how to pronounce this. Amneris letter, Amneris's letter from the musical. Um, I don't even know if that is I, Aida, <laughs> I don't know, from Shania Twain. So I don't know what this, I don't know what it is from a musical. I'm just going to read the lyric. Okay. Cause I can handle that part. Um, it says, I'm sorry for everything I've said and for anything I forgot to say too. When things get so complicated, I stumble at best muddle through. I wish that our lives could be simple. I don't want the world, only you. Oh, I wish I could tell you this face to face, but there's never the time, never the place. And this letter will have to do. I love you. Mm. So maybe that's something, someone from your past is going to be kind of stating that to you. I don't know, Aquarius, as you tell me. 
All right, my air signs, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel inclined to do so. Um, and maybe hit the notification button so you are notified when my content comes out. <laughs> uh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. And until the next time, guys, take care.